In Starfield, thrusters let you drift. This may be one of the most useful and powerful things I have learned since starting spaceflight in this game. It is a complete game changer, so to speak, and makes space combat a lot easier. Now, it is more than possible that I'm a complete idiot, this was totally obvious, and all of you are now face palming because you figured this out straight away, and if so, I do apologize for wasting your time. You can skip the rest of this video. Yep, it's just me explaining what the hell I mean by this. Perhaps on the off chance that someone else out there hasn't quite figured this one out, okay? Yeah, thrusters allow you to drift. Let me explain what I mean by this first of all. When you are maneuvering your spaceship, you turn your engines on, you go flying forward, you try not to hit an asteroid. Ooh, I managed it. And if you slow down, if you, if you reduce your engines, you begin to slow down. Now, in actual fact, in space, because there's no atmosphere, if you just switched your engines off, you would keep drifting in that direction at the speed you were going. The fact that you don't means that there is some sort of flight assist that is essentially pushing the opposite direction to slow you down, preventing you from drifting, yeah? I'm also going to quickly explain what thrusters are just in case there's someone who doesn't know. And honestly, it's very, very easy to miss this. The game does not explain it well. The piloting skill, the first rank, allows you to utilize ship thrusters. And if you're like me, you may have at first thought that was the boosters, the things that, you know, shoot you forward very, very quickly. And thought, well, I can already do that. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I would even want that skill. Thrusters are not the same thing, believe it or not. Thrusters and boosters, it's a slightly different thing. The thrusters are engaged by pressing a certain key. I've currently got mine set as the space key. And when I press that and hold it, it changes my WASD keys, or it will change your left joystick on your controller, so that when you press them now, instead of uh, going faster and slower, you go up or down. Yeah, and instead of rolling, you go left and right. Think of it as strafing. Someone described it as space dodge. Now, even after learning about the thrusters, um, uh, my first thought was, oh, right, it's for fine-tuned um, maneuvering, yeah? Trying to dock or land. Except you don't do any of that in this game, so mm, not that useful. Thrusters are actually very useful, even without the drift function. The, the sideways and up and down movement is actually quite fast, so calling it fine-tuning is not exactly true. It's, it gives you quite a bit of speed, so it will help you in manoeuvring in combat as well. It's not just for landing and docking, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is, let me get some speed going. Right. My engines are on. You can see my engines are on. I am going to engage the thruster right now. And you'll see the engine turns off. But I'm still traveling at the same speed. Here's the thing. I'm not driving anywhere. There's no thrust coming from the engine at all. Why is that important? Let me, let me slow down again and turn around. I am going to drive between... Drive. <laughs> fly between these asteroids. And as I get close to an asteroid, I'm going to start turning as I would normally do, right? So if I get here, I'm going to start turning. As you can see, I'm heading straight towards the asteroid. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to crash. I'm going to just pass it a little bit, slow down, and then turn. What using the thrusters allows me to do is turn the ship without steering towards something. This is really important. I'm going to go forward right now, and then I'm going to engage the thruster, and then I'm going to turn the ship towards the asteroid. You'll notice I'm not actually powering towards it. I'm still sliding past it. I'm drifting. Yeah. And I can keep the asteroid in view 
whilst I drift away from it going backwards very, very quickly now. If I take my finger off the thrust key, the engines will kick in and I'll start flying forward. This is a massive deal. This is a massive deal because basically you will be, if you're being shot at by someone behind, you can quickly engage your thrusters and turn the ship and start shooting at them. You don't need to try and shake them off. You don't need to try and actually, you know, go in wild circles, hoping you're more maneuverable than them. You can just turn around and start laying into them as they're shooting you. And if you've got more shields or a tougher ship, you can start really pummeling them. That is a massive thing. But you can also start maneuvering around things while shooting people a little better. So, for example, there is a ship here, actually. What I can actually do is, as I go past the ship, now obviously this is a static target, I can start turning and shooting at the ship as I go past without actually turning towards it. Like that. I'm not a very good shot. But you get the idea. And then once I'm past it, I could say boost. This just gives you so much more maneuverability. You can just constantly find your target a lot easier. Whereas up until this point, un until I realized it would actually allow me to drift, it will turn off the flight assist. If I was being shot at by a, by a ship, I was constantly having to just sort of try and turn and boost around objects and get behind them. And I was getting shot by multiple opponents and I hated it. I was, well, I was getting killed a lot. Understanding this one simple thing has completely changed the space combat for me. It's night and day. It really is. You can pretty much leave your throttle at whatever speed you want to go. And whenever you're maneuvering, just engage the thrusters and then start turning. You can also use the thruster whilst turning. And I've actually found that, for example, if I'm heading in, let's say I head in that direction, and I want to turn around and shoot something behind me, whichever direction I turn in, if I thrust in the opposite direction, I will acquire the target even faster because I'm, I've drifted slightly in the opposite direction. It really makes a huge difference. Again, most of you probably figured this out the instant you read about thrusters. And, I don't know, maybe you played around a bit with it and you just noticed immediately. But I didn't. I was flying around, I'd do the thrusters, and I wouldn't see anything. And it wasn't until I started to turn whilst holding the thruster key... And getting hit by an asteroid. Um, and holding the thruster key that I realised... Somebody had told me this in a stream. They'd said, thrusters let you drift. And the realization hit me. That's what he was talking about. Thrusters turn off the flight assist. This is where we belong.